Hello Tom Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today I'm going to be using auto hotkeys to talk to AI for me basically. This is something I've been using a lot, I figured I would share uh, all this code, I'll put it in the description, and we're going to talk about basically how to customize it, it's not too complex with uh, how to customize it, um, but yeah, let's dive into the code, shall we? Let me enlarge this so it's a little easier to read if you're on a small screen. Uh, Basically, uh, you know, I have something maybe like image generation where I need to generate a bunch of images. Uh, but, you know, generating the image, it can take like, I don't know, maybe five plus minutes. And then I have to say, okay, now make uh, this image. Now make this image. And I just have to keep doing this over and over again or any other type of list kind of that you're trying to input. You know, I got better stuff to do than just sit here staring at the screen waiting for uh, Gemini or ChatGPT to finish. Uh, Gemini is a little bit better for image generation. It doesn't make as good as uh, images as ChatGPT, but so far I have not had a limit. ChatGPT, it's like after like a few images, it's like, all right, you hit your daily limit. But Gemini, I pretty much have never had a limit get reached, at least yet. Um, so... I like using it for that, especially because I don't really need complex images. I'll show you an example of what I was doing. I needed to generate a bunch of pictures of kind of food and like cartoony kind of setting. So I started off with the original script or prompt of saying like, here's how I want the image to look. I want it to be circular. So I just started there. But then I got it. I had like, I think 50 images I wanted to generate. That would take hours of me just sitting here waiting and then being like, okay, now do, uh, you know, cake. Now do a pizza. So instead I wrote the script so that way I could just have it auto run. I could walk away, come back, and then I just download the images myself using an add-on I had. that can just auto grab all of them for me. Um, so that was a lot better. Um, so the first thing we need to do is set up kind of like our settings here, our configuration. <clears throat> so we got our file path. And this is going to be a text file. This is going to be our list. So let me op open uh, mine right here. I have it just a t basic text file. That was over here. There we go. Um, and as you can see, I have the list of kind of everything I want it. Um, I made it so it's like an actual list. So every line, it's going to read line by line. So I did it this way just because it's visually easier. Um, so it's just going to read through this line by line. Uh, and do that starting at uh, 1. Uh, the other thing you need is progress. Um, I mean, you don't need this, but it's helpful if you need to stop the program, like pause it, or your, it crashes or something. This remembers what line it did last. That way, when you restart the script, it's just going to continue versus you having to uh, delete the list back to what's been done or you know whatever this can control where it was last so that's great and useful and that's just this uh, progress file so that's just saving a number so just make sure you change the url and the name of the file to wherever it is and whatever it's called now the delay that's something you really play with uh 15 minutes is 900,000 milliseconds that's what i started out with uh, i did eventually change it down to 600,000, uh just because i noticed that it was generating images a little faster but definitely give it a little leeway just because it's always finishing the image in let's say like three minutes on average that doesn't mean there's going to be a lag on one of those images where it takes that 10 minutes so it's better to have a high number just to be on the safe side um that's something depending on what you're doing you can change to meet your needs uh, the next thing you can customize is f1 F1 is just what I use a lot on my uh, hotkeys, just because it's easy to remember, and I don't use that key very often for anything else. Uh, but you can change uh, the F1 uh, to whatever you want. Control A, <clears throat> you know, F2, whatever. Uh, Control Shift, uh, Escape if you really wanted to for some odd reason. <laughs> but do whatever you want. Um, but after that, I'm not really going to talk a lot about this because this is stuff you're not really going to need to change. Um, and I've done tons of videos explaining what pretty much I think all this stuff does. Uh, so if for some reason you want to know, just search my channel. You can figure it out uh, from there. Uh, but we're just making sure that the file does exist just to be safe. I didn't delete it or accidentally move it somewhere. It's going to read the file. Uh, it's going to go ahead and do a string split. So it's organizing all those lines. 
uh, into the memory of the script, uh, read saved progress, so where were you last, um, so pretty basic stuff. And then here's where it's going to really just start looping. Uh, right here is where it's basically saying, okay, I'm doing the next line. So it's, you know, I was on line 45, now it's time to do line 46. And then it's just going to start looping through, reading, it's making sure there's no white spaces uh, at the end or beginning, stuff like that. The next thing you are going to want to customize is the sin input right here. Um, let me zoom in a little more. Uh, <clears throat> This could be one line, but I like having it as two lines just because that makes it easier for me to know I'm only customizing really line 46 here. Uh, enter is just pushing enter, so it types whatever the prompt is and then presses enter to the uh, Gemini or whatever you're using. So I just simply said, now A, because I remember I already fed it the original prompt of what I expect for all my images. And so now it's like, now A you know, and whatever the line was, now a cake, next it's going to maybe do now a pizza, now a pie. And so it's just reading through, pressing enter. Um, and then we need to save uh, our updated uh, location of what was the li last line that it sent. That way when I restart the program, like I said before, it can do it. Wait 15 minutes. I mean, technically this doesn't need to be here because I might change it. Um, but that's going to do that sleep delay that's right up here. And it's going to just wait that amount of time, and then it's going to do the loop again with whatever the next line of text is. Um, so it's nice. You can put in kind of like part of your prompt here and then just have the filler uh, words that you need in here. You can get a little more complex if you really want where you can have multiple variables in here with multiple files. Uh, that way, maybe if you're reading like an Excel file or multiple text files, you can, so I could have like one file where it's like now a cake that is, and then have another file called like colors where it's maybe cycling through the colors like now a red cake, now a blue cake, you know, really it's up to you and how complex you want to get. So do that. Um, it's going to delete the file, which that's pretty normal for auto hotkeys, uh, just to create that new uh, variable of the now number count or line count. Um, so that's pretty normal. And then uh, once it hits the end of the list and realizes there's no more data in the string, it's just going to say all done. That way you know. And then for safety, uh, I have F2 reload just in case something's glitching out. I can just push F2 to kind of reload the script. Uh, this is also useful because there are times where I am sitting at the computer and I notice that it's done but still maybe has five minutes to go. I can push F2 and then F1 again just to automatically save some time and go ahead and make it do the next line before waiting that uh, extra five minutes that I have. Just to, uh, you know, kind of speed it up a little bit if I am just happen to notice that it's already done and can do the next line. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, just real quick, let's show example. Um, I'm not going to run it because it's already done, basically. But I started with the original pump, and here you can see it's saying, now a sugar. Boom, generated it. Waits 10 minutes. Now a candy. Boom, generates, and it just keeps going. Now a bacon, and it just kept doing this for me, and then I came back later, and I just used uh, this app right here. Um, this automatically reads all the images on the thing. I can uh, customize it and just grab the images I want. That is called, I think it's just called Download All Images. Is that the name of it? Yeah, Download All Images. It's just a Chrome extension, which means it'll work on, you know, Edge, Firefox, anything that's Chromium-based. Um, so that's helpful. Or you can just go through and just push Download, Download, whatever. All right, hopefully this is helpful. This is great for, you know, when you need to do a lot of talking, but, you know, the chat has to kind of wait for a while to process whatever it is, and you need to bulk do that same thing over and over again with slight variations. So it's very helpful. And hopefully you guys find this useful. Like I said, in the description below, it will be there. If you guys have any other ideas that you think could improve on this script, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.